Hi everyone, this is Patrice and welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel will be specifically geared towards the pre-dental and dental students. It will also document my life as a dental student through dental school. Now, for my very first vlog, I wanted to dedicate it to pre-dental students and give a guide as to how to apply into dental school. Now, before actually applying, there are some basic things that you need to prepare, five to be exact. One, you should prepare a resume. That is, um, a resume documenting um, your work experiences, research experiences, um, a little bio, and so forth, so that when it comes time for you to fill it into your application, it's, you know, as easy as one, two, three. Second, you need to write your personal statement. Okay, um, another thing you need to do is request your transcripts, arrange um, your LORs, and register for the DAT. Five basic things before you start your application. Now, once those things are squared away, then it's time to actually begin your application. And to do this by going to adia.org, that is www.adea.org. Now, once on the adia.org website, you're going to scroll down until you see a tab that says for students. Underneath that tab, you're going to see add SAS. Click on that. The page that comes up afterwards is a page um, marked dental pathways. Scroll down until you, there's another tab that says Access um, Pass and Capid. Underneath that, you'll see um, Adia Access application. You're going to click on that. You're going to be brought to a page where you have to create a username and password. Do that, and you'll also need to register for a dent pin. Now, a dent pin is basically a pin number, and um, it goes to identify you, basically, and It'll also serve to complement the username and password. Now, once that's created, you'll be brought to a page with different categories of the things that you'll need to fill in. Now, just a quick um, breakdown of what you'll need to fill in is, of course, your biographical information, which includes parent and family information. It includes um, if you have a disadvantage, disadvantaged status, um, and so forth. Now, another category is your education. They, you need to document um, the high school you went to and the colleges that you went to. Then afterwards, you need to fill out a coursework section. This section is for every single course you've ever taken during your career as a college student. Now, afterwards, you have to fill in your professional experiences. This category includes your dentistry experiences, work experiences, extracurricular activities, volunteer um, activities, and um, your research activities, basically. Now, after that, it's your personal statement category. This category, all you have to do for here is um, copy and paste your personal statement from, it's usually required that you copy and paste it from a notepad document into um, access your access application afterwards you need to input your letter um, recommendations your LORs now there's actually two ways to do this and you can do it electronically or by paper mail now electronically is basically um, you put the email addresses of the professors or dentists or whoever will um, submit your LORs and access will send them an email with a link that they'll need to fill with um, your LOR. They hit submit and SS automatically gets it. Easy. Now, the other method is the paper mail where your professor or your dentist or whoever actually mails it out to access. It takes a little bit longer, but um, it's not that, re that big of a deal really. The next step after that is your designated schools. In this category, you choose the schools that you'd like to attend. Easy. Um, and the last the last category is where you have to sign your release statement. And after that, your application is basically through. Now, it can get a little bit tedious to go through the application just because sometimes <clears throat> when you request your transcripts, um, 
they might not get in there on time. If you're an, if you've been an international student, it might take a much, 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 much longer time to get to the United States. And also, um, for the LORs, you might ask professors to submit it and, you know, they might forget or they might change their minds last minute. And, you know, just a whole bunch of different things that might happen to hold up the process. But, um, it's not a difficult process and you should do it quickly and get it through early. All right. So that takes care of how to apply into dental school. If there are any questions, comments, um, you can always send me a message, leave a comment below. And I also want you to check out my website, which is www.studentdiaries.com. Again, it's www.stu-dentdiaries.com. I'll put it at the bottom here. That is also to complement this blog. It's a blog basically of um, my life as a dental student. Same thing, but um, it's written. All right, so check that out. Subscribe. There'll be lots, 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 lots more. And stay tuned. Bye.